Hello grade 6. I am Miss Laura El Qaisi and I will be teaching you science discourse. Welcome back. I hope you are all refreshed and energized for another good academic year. First of all, this is your course book for this year. This course contains three science subsections, which are life sciences, physical sciences, earth sciences. In life sciences, we will be talking about living things in the biosphere. As for the physical sciences, we will be talking about introduction to matter, states of matter, energy. And lastly, earth science, we will be talking about earth systems, minerals and rocks in the geosphere, earth surface systems at the end. Starting off with life sciences. We will explore living things and how do we classify living things and characterize them. We will be starting off with knowing what living things mean in general and how to classify them into different systems by getting introduced and exploring the theory of evolution. Also, we will know what living things are made up of. And then we will move to a very interesting topic about viruses, bacteria, protists, and fungi, and how do they interact with living things in nature. And then we will talk about plants and animals as living things, and then we will be able to differentiate between them and know each characteristic and trait of the plants and the characteristics and traits of animals separately. Moving on to physical sciences. It is about exploring how matter is classified, how to compare different properties and how to measure matter. We will be starting off with describing and classifying matter. What does matter mean? How do we measure matter mathematically? And what changes matter go through? The change can either be physical or chemical change. We will be also getting introduced to the three states of matter, solid, liquid gas and how the matter changes between each state and go in depth with gas behavior which has two laws Charles law and Boyle's law also we will be introduced to the following terminology energy motion force and work we will get to know what each terminology means how do we apply it in real life and measuring them mathematically. And we will know different forms of energy, potential energy or kinetic energy and how we can change between these two energy and how is energy conserved. We will be also introduced to heat as terminology and to compare it with temperature and thermal energy and we will learn about heat transfer through materials. In the last subsection which is earth sciences it talks about exploring what earth systems is, how these systems affect and interact with each other and the importance of earth systems. We will start off with the surface features 
in the geosphere and in the hydrosphere and Earth's interior. We will get to know these features, understand them, and use interprets and how to analyze these features in affecting Earth's surface. And then we will learn about minerals found on Earth and how rocks are produced through the rock cycle. We will also learn about weathering and soil. The weathering can be either mechanical or chemical. We will know the difference between them and how do we figure out if the change or the weathering is mechanical or chemical. We will know the formation of soil and the process of erosion and how it changes the Earth's surface. How does the erosion affecting our Earth's surface? And we also have water erosion. We will get to know how water erosion happened, how groundwater affects and changes Earth's surface. And then we will talk about glaciers of snow and wave erosion and also how it affects the Earth's surface. That was a wrap up of the units that we'll, we will be covering uh, in this course. Good luck in your science course and best wishes for the new academic year.